Bruce and I don't quite feel like we probably could get that much and still have a quality building, but we haven't gotten together with them to go into that list yet. We think the college we could get three or four hundred thousand now without really changing what you've got, you know, just cutting back on some things, you know, like the soil cement, like I said, that nobody would ever really notice the difference. If we were to rebid it, it's probably going to help the cuts work, but it's and do those same cutbacks at the same time to get it within the original budget, if that's the goal that we need to shoot for. But it would be different than what your goals are to achieve the intended use. So does this be a, on the 26,672 square footage or the 27,399? Actually, the, the final square footage was 28,396. Well, that, that's the reason I'm asking because it went from 26,672 to 27,399. Now it's going to 28. Repeat that again, please. 28,396. So that's another thousand square feet, right? I think it probably we started out with the conference center seating three hundred, and then we changed it to four hundred. Right. And then there was some additional additions to the conference center that um, we thought we were aware of, but somehow maybe we're not. Mm -hmm. um, that we worked with Alan Hours trying to get that in there. It had to do with um, some access and some more areas that they preferred to have cover. I saw the changes. I was just kind of curious as to how we kept increasing the square footage. Any more questions from the board? <coughs> if you just built the library, what would be the cost of the library? Um, it, it's hard to say right now because you know if you just top that square footage off. That's where we figured that was. Um, the library, if the library alone was just done, that's around. 17,200 square feet, which would include uh, a lobby area and a coffee shop uh, on the plan that we have right now. Uh, if you use the same square footage, uh, $169 per square foot, that would put the library cost at a right about $3 million. And then you've got the, the furnishings. Furnishings. And on the that. sites, the special inspection, you know, those things that were listed at the end, those would But the 552000 was to include furniture for the conference center also, wasn't it? That was a separate cost for FFM. Right. That was for the whole building. Right? That was for the library and the conference center. Okay. Mm -hmm. so that would, the furniture portion would be reduced yeah. also. I don't know much about the architectural business, but if y'all go back and redesign it, will we owe you anything for what you've already done? Not unless you, you know, completely change the scope on us. If it's a completely new project, but if you're just asking us to get this into the budget and we're trying to make those changes, then that's what we'll do. You know, we well, the bottom line will still be eight percent of whatever the construction cost right. is. Yes. Any other like questions? Said, that's our obligation to you, and that's you know, so we'll do what it takes. Try to give you these options because we want you to realize if we do that, then there's going to be some things that have to come out that were different than what um, everybody in the programming phase said that they might wanted or needed. So. Might have to go reduce from 400 seats down to 200 seats in the conference. Those would be the kind of things that we would need to discuss. How many square foot would the coffee shop? Anything else? Well, we're going to have to look at it uh, simply because of the cost. And uh, you've got
got the two million in the stocks and we had two million in the state. We're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to revisit the project. And I guess it's up to the board to get together and make some type of decision on how we're going to proceed. Uh, if you would like for us to get together and you can help in the process anytime we'd like to do that. And I think Ken's our neighbors, you like better, has offered to come to the house to meet with us and what some of their options are. We haven't gone through those yet, but if that's something you're interested in pursuing, then we can get them down and figure out. If we downsize it, are we going to rebid it or are we going to still go with the same people? I mean, they're saying they'll come meet with us, but if they know we're going to rebid it, I doubt they're going to come meet with us. If we're looking at value engineering, which is something that's typical, then, then you know you would stay with them. But if we're redesigning, which there's kind of a point where you get there where you feel like you're not going to get the full value out of your value engineering, and it's going to be to your benefit to make those changes and then rebid it, then, then we would get to that point if we started cutting that much that we felt like it was going to be to your best interest to do that. But, you know, if we were taking a lot of square footage off, we probably would want to rebid it. If we're just making these changes with graded aggregate base and changing some light textures and those, you know, changing some carpet to a different carpet, those kind of things that we have on that list, then the value engineering process is probably going to be all you need to do. We thank you. We'll have to revisit the program. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you. thank you. Thanks on the new business to Chad Slaughter and Jay Spencer and Mia. Request to address the board regarding the update of the Lee County Health Plan. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Commissioner. We would like to also introduce Philip Salsi, who is assisting in uh, co managing your account and is also our benefits practice leader for Jason Smith uh, We do appreciate the opportunity to be here. Our purpose tonight is to provide you with a, a mid year update or review of your health plan. Uh, there's always a lot of work behind the scenes that, uh, has, that goes on and has gone on with Alan and his team as well as uh, members of the personnel committee. We thought it would be beneficial uh, to actually bring this update to you, the commission tonight, just so you have an idea of where we stand mid-year, uh, so that as we approach the next renewal, we're all on the same page of uh, where we're at and really what we want to accomplish in the next renewal. As you know, your health plan uh, runs on a plan year of February 1st. Quite a ways away, but now is the time that we begin planning for that. And wanted to you know, give you an update on where we stand in terms of uh, claims utilization, uh, our liability, and then also really our process of bidding the insurance to various uh, vendors and carriers as we move forward into this renewal process. Uh, in terms of your plan and your performance, um, this year the plan is, is running well. It's actually running. Uh, under our expected or budgeted cost. Uh, through uh, six months of the plan year, we're running about 55% of the maximum liability uh, that was projected under the plan. So that is certainly uh, good news. Uh, the other positive news is that the number of large claims that we have on the plan this year is significantly less than the prior year. In the previous year, uh, we actually had 12 claimants that were over $25,000. So that was a significant figure uh, that we had to work with going into last year's renewal. This year, we only have uh, three claims over 25, and that's through six months on the plan. We certainly hope that trend will uh, continue. Uh, last year, the 2009 plan year, the total liability at the end of the plan year, we ran about 65% of our max liability, uh, which was good, but going into that renewal, the, the challenge was those number of large claims. If you recall, two years ago, we made a change from our current administrator, Group Resources, uh, over to Blue Cross Blue Shield. Uh, we were using an outside reinsurance carrier uh, until this past year. Uh, this current year, uh, Blue Cross is handling the administration as well as the reinsurance as well as the actual network. Uh, so we do feel you know, good about where we stand uh, year to date uh, with health care. You know, things could change, but Going into the renewal, we, we, we do feel, feel good. Um, as far as the process, uh, we, in managing your plan, and we've been working with you for about five years now, um, we begin our renewal process about 120 days out from uh, your actual renewal. And one of the things that we have always done, we'll continue to do, is actually bid your insurance uh, with all the various options in the marketplace. That being actual insurance companies, that being reinsurance carriers, that being 
also be sitting down with uh, uh, the personnel, personnel committee and evaluating the objectives moving into this next plan year. Um, we have had some changes uh, the past couple of years uh, in terms of benefits and we certainly want to uh, have those discussions as well. Lee County historically has, has always had a, a, a very, I'll say, generous health plan. It's a uh, benchmark <coughs> Again, we just really want tonight, uh, without getting into too many specifics, just want to provide uh, you with an update. We realize that we, we come to you in December, you know, at the 11th hour, and we provide or throw a lot of information at you. Uh, it's difficult to make some of these difficult decisions that have to have to be made, and so we want to keep you, the commission, uh, up to speed with, with what's going on behind the scenes and in the process. Uh, the other thing we want to do tonight is we want to uh, ask Philip to uh, speak a little bit about health care reform. Uh, we could spend hours on it, but we'll just provide you with an update on, on, on our view of it. Uh, it's certainly something that should be on every employer's radar screen as we're moving forward. Uh, not too many major changes uh, this year, but, but going into 2014, there's going to be some changes that we all need to be aware of, and our, our role is to help manage that whole process. So I'll, I'll turn that over. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Commissioner, for allowing us to be here. Um, I do want to just take just a couple of minutes and update you on some of these things regarding health care reform, kind of where we're at. Uh, I am sure this is a concern to the commissioners here at Lee County, as it is with most other organizations, the impact of what health care reform is going to do, uh, what impact it's going to have on our financials, what impact it's going to have on our, on our staff. Um, we have been watching this very, very closely for close to two years now, going back and watching it all develop. And, and, and like, like many of you, at many times, we weren't sure what the end product was going to be. Um, as you know, back on March 23rd, the bill was enacted, and, and, and certain provisions of it are starting to take place. Um, at J. Smith Lanier, we want to give you the assurance of what we're doing internally to support you, Lee County, uh, in terms of this health care reform and how it's going to impact you. Uh, we are currently in the process of building a health care reform practice inside our existing benefit organization. Um, this health care reform practice is, is going to have a, a health care reform person that's going to be completely devoted to the rules, the changes, the laws, the legal aspects of it, uh, as well as the strategic opportunities that exist. And we do think there are some. Um, we are also going to um, acquire the resources that are necessary. Uh, there will be certain modeling tools, analytical tools, actuarial tools that we're going to help process uh, work in conjunction with our typical marketing side to make the best decisions that we have with Lee County. Um, we, we do believe that, that, that the end product will, will actually be a hybrid of using typical plans like we have today as well as uh, a combination of some of the exchanges and the subsidies that are supposed to start in 2014. But these are a couple of years out, but at the same time, we're already starting strategically to outline the next steps that we need to be ready to get ready for 2014. So it's not something we can wait two or three years in order to start developing a plan. Uh, we're starting to develop that now. And, and we're gonna take the specific data from Lee County, the claims, the demographics, the census information that we typically do with marketing and integrate that with our healthcare reform practice to try and, and create that strategy that's going to help move us through the next few years. Um, with this law, uh, 2,700 pages, uh, a lot of it is still undefined. And, and we have many more questions than we have answers at this time. And I would expect that to continue to be so. So uh, we are working with what, as they publish uh, the regulations of the law, uh, we have published a, a, an executive summary that I'll leave with you. 